Well, I think it, it, it's it's uh, such an honor, and I really do thank the Lord for that. Um, uh, and I, I, I and I really mean that because just to see where uh, He's brought me from um, over on over in South Africa, and just bringing him over here and taking care of uh, so many. Um, drastic things that could have happened to me and uh, and just trusting him and seeing how he works is just is just uh, amazing um, and such a testimony to um, to the, the cross and what Jesus did for us and and just overall and, and to follow in the steps of uh, Byron and Kevin who were both one of my mentors um, is just a true privilege how, how sweet is it then that I mean you, you want a litany of things for what you do on the field to be recognized for what you do off of it um, I, I think it's also such an honor. I think, I think that's uh, I think that's more of an honor um, to be off the field than on, because um, that's where we're going to spend most of our life. <laughs> um, and uh, I think that's such a accreditation to my to my parents, my family, and uh, my friends. And uh, uh, and I, I really um, am thankful for my teammates and the support because it's such a team sport. Um, uh, nothing could have happened f for this if uh, Dusty didn't do such a great job and, and Nick last year and Andy this year and, and the great Olan we have. And so uh, I just, I'm so blessed. What's, what sticks out to you about the work that you do honoring the Lord off the field, whether it's in South Africa or stuff you're doing presently at Manly Baptist Church? Uh, I don't really think it's what sticks out. It's what's, what's important and what um, I do what I can't not do. Um, because uh, I ask myself daily why I deserve anything that the Lord has done, and, and I really don't. And so uh, I just do whatever comes my way and uh, what, I feel, what I feel is important. And I ask myself, uh, um, you know, what would Jesus do? And so uh, I'm, really, I'm really just trying to um, follow Coach Sparks. He's such a great uh, example of, you know, what we're trying to do here on earth. And I know he won't take credit for that, but he, he, he really preaches to us to that, and uh, it's such a great uh, honor to have an example like him to see every day, even though he's shouting at me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you, bring, you brought up Kevin and Byron. Uh, what, what were tenets of their leadership, both on and off the field, that you try to carry today? Um, Byron, uh, specifically, we were involved in FCA to, together. He was the president, and uh, right when I was coming in, um, and uh, he was uh, he was a testimony um, to to living it out, um, and uh, just to see him uh, week in week out being at football, but then also organizing so many events, um, and and just being a strong man of God uh, was a great example to me as a freshman because I I came in and you know you're you're new and you're trying to figure out what to do, trying to figure out okay. Is it worth going down the road or trying to be cool or trying to do this and the peer pressures? And uh, Byron was, uh, you know, he was great on the field. You know, he was strong. He was fit. He worked hard. Uh, but he also knew, um, knew what uh, his purpose was here. And uh, uh, I love Kevin. Kevin was such a, such a great guy to, to be a part of and uh, be on the team with. Uh, um, seeing his work ethic was uh, what kind of uh, I looked up to for Kevin because, you know, um, he wasn't the, the biggest sinner that ever w walked the earth. Um, and uh, but he worked hard, and he didn't let that stop him. And um, and so that's what uh, I take from those two. Now you you have a busy December, step, January coming up as a result of this. Sandwich a, a wedding. You're getting married with the Sugar Bowl. What, how special is that going to be? It's going to be great because after we win the national championship on <laughs> December 21st, I'm going to be getting married the next week, and uh, I've got a honeymoon paid for, I guess. So I'm I'm pretty excited. <laughs>